everyone. My name is Debbie Jones Snyders, and I'm delighted to welcome families and children to Hopedale Presbyterian Church's Church School. And our story is about Cain and Abel, and it's adapted from Mission Bible Class with uh, images by Sweet Imaging and free Bible images. And we have uh, a couple of crafts for you, um, farmer and a shepherd and uh, a coloring picture, as well as some other activities for you. So our story today is about Cain and Abel. So, if you were coming to my house to eat, eat, which one of these apples would you like to eat? A nice one or a rotten one? You wouldn't want the rotten one. If you were coming to my, a wedding, would you wear messed up clothes or would you wear nice clothes? Nice clothes. So if we were to give something to God, should it be second best or should it be the very best? In today's lesson, we're going to learn about two brothers who gave God gifts. Only one brother gave his very best. The story of Cain and Abel. After Adam and Eve were told to leave the Garden of Eden, they found a place to live where they could grow crops and raise animals. They had children. The name of one son was Cain and the name of the other son was Abel. And when the brothers grew up, Cain became a farmer who worked in the fields. Abel took care of sheep. In those days, people showed their devotion to God by bringing gifts and laying them on a platform called an altar. Cain brought some of the vegetables he had grown and he placed them on the altar. But Abel's heart was different from Cain's. He did not place just anything on the altar. Abel had faith and he placed the very best of the best of his lambs and placed them on the altar. God was pleased with the offering that Abel made. Why do you think that was? Perhaps it was because he saw that Abel loved God so much that he wanted to give his very best. God was not pleased with Cain's offering. Perhaps because he did not give God his very best. When Cain saw that God was more pleased with Abel, he became very angry. God saw how angry Cain was and said, Cain, why are you so angry? If you do right, I'll accept you. But if you don't do right, you will sin. God knew that if Cain did not stop being angry and jealous, he would do something terribly wrong. So when he heard this, Cain should have stopped and should have told God he was sorry. But he was so angry, he did not think about doing good things. He did not control his anger. But he only thought about how God approved of Abel more than him. Cain did not control his anger and jealousy. He became more and more angry so that all of his anger just boiled up inside. Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out in the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked Abel and killed him. When God came to Cain, he asked, where is your brother Abel? Cain answered, Am I my brother's keeper? Is it my job to keep track of him all the time? Cain killed his brother. Cain killed his brother when he thought no one was watching. But we know that God sees and knows everything that happens.
God knew what Cain had done, and he knew that Cain must be punished. Your brother's blood is still on the ground. Your punishment is that nothing you plant in the ground will grow. You will just wander around the earth, finding food wherever you can. Cain was upset by this. My punishment is more than I can bear, said Cain. I will wander around and whoever finds me will kill me. So God put a special mark on Cain so that anyone seeing the mark would not know, would know not to kill him. And then Cain went away from his family and his home. Wandering about and unable to make a living from the ground as a farmer, Cain would be a warning to others not to commit murder. So we have a variety of activities depending on age level and interest. Our, our coloring picture says, I am my brother's keeper. We have two crafts. Uh, one is a shepherd like Abel and one is a farmer like Cain. So in order to do these two crafts, you will need the templates. You will also need um, toilet paper rolls, scissors, glue, and some various coloring implements, whatever you uh, want to use like uh, colored pencils, crayons, or markers. So once you've printed the templates, and you've colored them. Here are the templates. Okay, here's the shepherd, and here's the uh, farmer. And you can see the rectangular part here. That goes around the body of the, um, on the toilet paper roll, the body. That's the body, uh, the colored body. So you need to color and cut these out. And so the first thing is for the shepherd, you're going to uh, put the um, rectangle, colored rectangle, glue it around the toilet paper roll. And then you're going to glue the head on, the hands on, arms on. And you can see the two pieces here for the feet. So uh, what you will be doing is gluing, putting glue here because it'll fit underneath the toilet paper roll here so it stands up. You see you only see the brown here. That's because I've glued the top part right under here. And then of course at the end you would, oh I forgot, sorry, you need to put the, the belt here in the middle and glue um, the belt there and the lamb can go at the or the sheep can go at the bottom of the toilet paper roll and there you have it there's the shepherd like um, Abel. Now to do the make the um, farmer like Cain again you need the templates um, and you'll need various coloring implements. So once you've decorated your pieces, cut them all out. And here again, you have a rectangle, which goes will be glued around the toilet paper roll. Um, then glue the hat on top of the head. Um, and then you put the arms and the boots on. Don't forget here in the middle, you have the overalls. And actually I put the overalls on before you put the, the boots on. And then you see you have the fork here. Give some space around the fork when you cut it out. Um, and glue it on the hand of the uh, farmer. 
And because it's so skinny there, I also glued it down by the foot. So there you have, there you have uh, Cain and Abel. We also have some other activities for you. We have a maze, a word search, a crossword, and an anagram. Don't worry, I have the answers for you. <laughs> So this week, remember, we should give our best to God. We are our brother and sister's keeper, just like the picture says. And we should take care of them. We should not let anger control us because anger can hurt others and can also hurt ourselves. Have a great week. <laughs>